Hi and welcome to your eighth school frog tutorial on John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. And in this tutorial we're going to start to look at the theme of dreams and in particular we're going to look at Lenny's dream. Now George and Lenny talk about their dream quite a lot throughout the novel um, and initially this seems to just be a way of sort of passing the time. So let's have a look at some early dialogue between George and Lenny. Let's have different coloured rabbits, George. Sure we will, George said sleepily. Red and blue and green rabbits, Lenny. Millions of them. Now, this is just a very short quotation, but we can actually learn a lot from it from some of the key words and phrases that we've highlighted. So, first of all, we can see that Lenny depends on George like a child depends on a parent when he says, let's have different coloured rabbits. It's as, almost as if he's asking for George's permission and George has to um, agree to whatever it is that Lenny's proposing. Now, when he asks for different coloured rabbits, it's clear that he's only really interested in the superficial parts of the dream. He doesn't really understand the reality of it in an adult sense or doesn't dream about the lifestyle um, and the implications of that lifestyle. He's only really interested in the rabbits and what colour they are. Now, George's response, sure we will, um, shows that George is kind of reassuring Lenny to keep him happy, but he doesn't sound particularly convincing. And when he goes on to say red and blue and green rabbits, Lenny, millions of them, we can see that he's he's really just humouring him. He. Lenny's dream is just a fantasy, um, but George is kind of indulging him to keep him happy. Now at this stage it's not clear whether George's dream is just a fantasy or if he really believes that, that he's going to achieve it and that they're going to have their, their own piece of land, their own house um, and work for themselves. But certainly in terms of how Lenny sees the dream, um, it is a, a sort of in a very childlike, very naive kind of way. So we can see from this quotation that Lenny needs George to reassure him that his dream will come true. But George needs Lenny just as much. He knows that this won't happen, but talking about the dream gives him a chance to escape from reality as well. And we'll look into that in a bit more detail when we look at George's dream um, and how the, the two sort of relate to each other. So that's a very um, sort of quick introduction to the theme of dreams. Um, next time we're going to look at a different character's dream and I think we've probably got about four maybe five tutorials all together on the, on the theme of dreams so hopefully they'll all start to tie in together and give you some ideas for your own interpretations. But that's it for this tutorial. As always um, please do go and check out our resources at lulu.com forward slash spotlight forward slash schoolfrog and check out what's going on at schoolfrog through our blog at blogspot.co.uk. Okay, thanks very much for watching and if you enjoyed the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time.